Hey, how are we doing guys? Welcome to a new Glory of Victus video. This is going to be on the Spear Slash Axe build. There'll be timestamps in the description below if you want to skip to a certain part of the video. There'll also be a link to my Discord Twitch channel where I stream every night and also a link to the official Glory of Victus Discord and a link to the official Glory of Victus website. I hope you enjoy this video guys and I hope it helps. Let's get on with the video. All right, so let's get straight onto the build. We're going to start off with the attributes and also the passive abilities. So the attributes, I've gone for 300 strength, as you can see here in the top left hand corner, and we're going with a 145 constitution. The reason I've gone with this is we want to get the most damage as possible because we do have a little bit of range compared to everyone else. We can keep them back a little bit. And also we can stand behind our teammates with the shields and stuff like that, you know, just poke through them. To attack the enemy and also swing the axes over their head the reason you can use the axe and the spear on this build is the strength puts up quite a lot of damage on the axe and the spear it also does damage with the sword so you can use the sword but it's not extremely viable as dexterity also puts the sword up and we have no dexterity with this all right so looking at the passive abilities as you can see i do have shield bash vanguard and tough one the reason we've gone 20 points on this route is you are going to need some health because you only have 145 constitution so you're going to be really low health having this with 145 constitution and my feed quality above eight gets me to 764 hp so i do have a little bit of health i can take a couple of hits but not a lot then having a look at the rest of our passive abilities we've got the reaper obviously because we're using long two-handed weapons so we can hit multiple targets at once then we're going along the right the right side for strongman and also brute which increase our damage brute increases it by two percent and strongman damage dealt at full power increases by 0.5 percent per level of strongman so an extra five percent damage when we are in the red bar of swinging but like i said you do want to be stood behind your teammates so you do want to be doing full swing red bar attacks every single time then going up the left side we've got athlete for the more uh, stamina drain when less stamina drain when kicking sprinting and swimming stamina regeneration is increased by 30 percent with the breath control then going up to the next one we've got stamina drain while attacking and holding a weapon is reduced by 1.5 percent per level then we're going to go up to veteran maximum stamina is increased by two percent per level go up to sting increased damage dealt by piercing attacks that's going to greatly help with your spears then on the last one, we're going to go up to Battle Rage. So when we go under 60% health, again, you want to be stood behind people and you can just swing like crazy. And even if someone does hit you, it's not going to cancel, it, cancel your attack because we do have that long range. And obviously with the Reaper, we can hit multiple targets at once. So we're going to be, we're going to be able to dish out quite a lot of damage and we're going to be able to dish it out quite fast. This is not really something you want to be running solo. You do want a couple of people with you on this. I'd highly recommend like being having a tank with you so they can be stood in front and you can stood behind just dishing out them little bits of damage. All right, next part, weapons, equipment, uh, hot bar, stuff like that. So let's get on to armor. I'm wearing two piece light. I'm wearing a light chest and a light legs with heavy boots, heavy gloves, heavy shoulders heavy helm obviously you want four pieces to be the same so you get plus 10 percent bonus that helps out a lot uh, i have 41.9 percent pierce defense 41 and a half slashing defense and 35 and a half bludgeoning so you know like axes hammers stuff like that uh, not axes um, hammers and stuff like that uh, onto my hot bar i have my two-handed spear as my main my number one then I have a single handed axe so I can use my shield because we do have the shield bash so we can pop that so this is really going to help also we have a lot of axe damage so a one handed axe is a nice thing to have so you can use your shield then we have our two handed axe on number three so you know you can bop them over head spear on number one like I said so you can do your pokey pokey and just run up to someone and go this is me jabber <laughs> uh, number four I've got my hammer Two handed armor. Obviously, you always want one of these no matter what build you've got for people in heavy armor. It's going to help out loads because they don't have much bludgeoning defense. Uh, number five for bandage. Number six, I have my stamina regeneration beers. Obviously, use the best ones that you can afford. These are super cheap, so I run around with these. Sometimes I'll have better stuff. Number seven, Flame of Wraith, Faith, or whatever. Eight, uh, tents. 
Number nine, two-handed sword. I don't really use this, to be fair. I think I'm actually gonna take it off the hot bar and put um, something else there. The reason it's there is I did have my sword in number two and my one-handed axe in number nine because I have my axe and my pickaxe at the end, but I thought, do you know something? I may as well have my axe on number two so I can use my shield because I have a lot of axe damage anyway. So I do have that shield option. So yeah, that's the hot bar. That's the equipment and it works out pretty good for me. All right, well, to finish the video off, we're going to get into some gameplay, show you how this build works. So, yeah, let's get into it. All right, sorry about the foot, uh, the gameplay, you guys. I ain't really got much footage because I was being stream sniped all night on the day that I was making the video because I always get my footage from my streams, but it was just it was just one of them days where everything was going wrong, so I apologize. But I have got a little bit of gameplay. It's not great, but here it is. So there it is guys, there's some of the uh, spear gameplay, I hope this video helps, I hope it gives you a good understanding on how to play the build and stuff like that. Remember to leave a comment if you've got any suggestions or anything, or you just got any questions or anything like that. Drop the video a like if it helped, subscribe if you're not subscribed for more future videos on Glory Vixus. I'll catch you in the next one guys, peace out.